Hi, and welcome to the Hadley Report, an occasional production of Hadley Media. Hadley Report is produced from time to time with a short discussion on topics that are important to the town, its resources, and its services. Today we'll discuss the proposed FY2020 budget, and a copy is available at www.hadleyma.org on the town administrator's webpage. I am your Town Administrator, David Nixon, and today is Friday, February 22nd, uh, 2019. So the bu budget, budget was presented to the Finance Committee and the Select Board on February 13th. It is a balanced budget based upon estimated revenues and recommended expenses. It achieves the goals set out by the Select Board and is consistent with the community's priorities as laid out in the master plan and other planning documents. The budget will be voted at the annual town meeting, which is Thursday, May 2nd at 7 p.m. at Hopkins Academy. It is always the first Thursday in May. It's an open meeting, anybody can attend, registered voters may vote. So, in order to understand the FY20 budget, we have to talk a little bit about the choices we had to make for the FY19 budget. Back in, for the current fiscal year, we had to bring on a new ambulance service, something that was planned over a period of several years, and we had to rely on free cash in order to fund that service. That meant that we didn't have enough free cash for the rest of the operating budget, so we did a one-time transfer of stabilization funds to cover our OPEB liability to keep on track with our OPEB plan. And finally, state aid dropped by about $100,000 at the end of the state budget process, so we had to find that money. That's a lot of ground to catch up on, uh, but we did it uh, in FY 2020. The revenues increased from taxation is $568,000. That's within Proposition 2.5. State aid is a very generous $195,000. And ambulance, there are two, there's local receipts of about $340,000, which include, includes two new categories of income. One is a rebate on ambulance runs of about $112,000. And then we have a host of community agreement with a medical marijuana shop for $50,000. And then revenues from enterprise funds, water sewer, and Hadley Media itself of about $73,000 increase. All told, it came up to $1.2 million of gross revenues. The expenses, first, we committed to preserve all the services that we had initiated in 2019, that's police, fire, ambulance, school programs, and other services that were new in FY 2019 or need to be supported in 2019. We're doing, we're doing what we can to support that in 2020. Other goals within the 2020 budget proposal, one, creation of a human resources department, something that is new and different for the town of Hadley, but this is a strong recommendation coming from the Department of Revenue that right now we do human resources by splitting the responsibilities between the treasurer, the assistant treasurer, and the town administrator. That's three people trying to do the job of one on top of their other duties. So it's time to bring in a professional in order to consolidate all of those and make sure that we're coordinating consistently and fairly. Two, we redeploying administrative staff within Town Hall in order to make sure that the departments that need extra support so they can achieve higher order functions are adequately supported. 
We were hoping to add a finance director in order to do better strategic planning with respect to our finances, but we were not able to create a position vote. In order to achieve that function, we're adding five hours to the treasurer's work week. We're also using senior tax work-off program and interns, and that budget supports that program already. This is turning into a big success for both the interns and the seniors and for the projects that we need them to work on. Another goal is to maintain a sustainable public safety service in FY 2020. Another goal is to review annually the water and sewer rates to maintain those enterprise funds, make sure that we're able to keep them solvent. We also are moving everybody from the senior center, which is going to be demolished, and moving them into two other buildings, one the Most Holy Redeemer Parish Hall, and the other one is Tech, um, Town Hall. And there's a third location, Hadley Media will be going to the library. This budget supports that move and supports the relocation of those and operation of those departments in other buildings. We're also increasing our annual OPEB contribution by 2.5% to raise the annual contribution to $270,000 and change. That will keep us current with our strategic goal of addressing a $7.7 .7 million unfunded liability within a reasonable time frame. And the final goal is to restart our reliance upon free cash to fund the recurring expenses within the operating budget in order, in accordance with the free cash spending policy. So we'll be re aggressively reducing our reliance upon free cash by $133,000 in this. In the coming months, these committees, the Select Board, the Finance Committee, and the Capital Improvement Committee will meet with the departments to review budgets, and based upon those meetings, further budget adjustments may occur. In addition, the state will go through its annual budget preparation process. We've seen the governor's budget proposal. We'll be waiting for the House Ways and Means budget proposal. And state aid and state assessments are likely to change, hopefully, to the good. But in any case, a final balanced budget will be presented to the annual town meeting May 2nd, 2019, 7 p.m. at Hopkins Academy. All budget meetings and the annual town meeting are open to the public and anyone may attend. In the meantime, if the viewers have any questions, I can be reached by phone 413-586-0221 or by email at admin at hadley.org. Thank you.